If you're managing diabetes, the role of diet is critical. What you eat can influence your blood sugar levels, impacting how well you manage your condition. Protein is often praised as a vital component of a healthy diet, and while that's generally true, not all protein sources are created equal, especially if you have diabetes. Some protein-rich foods might actually do more harm than good, making it harder to keep your blood sugar in check. Today, we'll look at four protein sources that could worsen your diabetes, helping you make informed choices about what lands on your plate. But before we continue, if you appreciate all the information and the research that goes into making a video like this, it does help out tremendously if you hit the like button and hit subscribe. Thank you, and let's begin. It's easy to think that as long as you're eating protein, you're making a healthy choice. Many people focus on reducing carbs and adding more protein when trying to manage diabetes, but the type of protein you choose is just as important as the quantity. The first protein source to watch out for is processed meats. These include foods like bacon, sausages, hot dogs, and deli meats. While they might seem like convenient and tasty options, they come with hidden risks. Processed meats are often loaded with sodium, preservatives, and unhealthy fats. These ingredients can contribute to inflammation and insulin resistance, making it more challenging to manage blood sugar levels. High sodium intake can also lead to hypertension, a common issue for people with diabetes, which further complicates the management of the condition. Studies have shown that a diet high in processed meats is linked to an increased risk of type 2 diabetes and heart disease. One study published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition found that people who consumed more than 50 grams of processed meat daily had a 19% higher risk of developing type 2 diabetes compared to those who ate less. The combination of high sodium, unhealthy fats, and preservatives creates a perfect storm for worsening diabetes, making processed meats a less-than-ideal choice. Another protein source that might seem healthy at first glance but can be problematic for people with diabetes is red meat. This includes beef, pork, and lamb. While red meat is a good source of essential nutrients like iron and vitamin B12, it's also high in saturated fats. Saturated fats have been shown to increase insulin resistance, making it more difficult for your body to manage blood sugar levels effectively. Furthermore, cooking methods like grilling or frying red meat at high temperatures can produce harmful compounds called advanced glycation end products, or AGEs, which are linked to increased inflammation and oxidative stress in the body. Both inflammation and oxidative stress are known to exacerbate diabetes, leading to complications such as cardiovascular disease and kidney damage. Research supports the link between red meat consumption and an increased risk of diabetes. A study published in the journal Diabetes Care found that higher red meat intake was associated with a greater risk of developing type 2 diabetes. The study, which followed over 150,000 participants for 14 to 28 years, concluded that even a modest increase in red meat consumption could significantly raise the risk of diabetes. If you're managing diabetes, it might be wise to limit red meat in your diet and opt for leaner, plant-based protein sources instead. The third protein source that can be detrimental to diabetes management is full-fat dairy products. This includes whole milk, full-fat yogurt, cheese, and butter. Full-fat dairy products are high in saturated fats, which, as mentioned earlier, can increase insulin resistance. This makes it more difficult for your body to control blood sugar levels, leading to spikes and crashes that can be harmful in the long term. Moreover, full-fat dairy can contribute to weight gain, and maintaining a healthy weight is crucial for managing diabetes effectively. While dairy does provide valuable nutrients like calcium and vitamin D, it's essential to choose low-fat or fat-free options if you have diabetes.
Studies have shown that individuals who consume more full-fat dairy are at a higher risk of developing insulin resistance and type 2 diabetes. For example, a study published in the Journal of Nutrition found that higher intake of saturated fats from dairy was linked to a higher risk of insulin resistance and metabolic syndrome. By opting for low-fat or fat-free dairy products, you can still enjoy the benefits of dairy without the added risk of worsening your diabetes. Now, let's talk about the last and perhaps most surprising protein source on the list, certain types of fish, particularly those high in mercury. Fish is often recommended as a healthy protein source, rich in omega-3 fatty acids which are beneficial for heart health. However, not all fish are created equal when it comes to managing diabetes. Fish like shark, swordfish, king mackerel, and tilefish tend to have higher levels of mercury, a toxic metal that can have serious health implications. Mercury exposure has been linked to increased risk of insulin resistance and the development of type 2 diabetes. A study published in Diabetes Care found that higher levels of mercury exposure were associated with a 65% increase in the risk of developing diabetes. The study suggests that mercury may interfere with the normal function of pancreatic beta cells, which are responsible for producing insulin. This disruption can lead to impaired insulin secretion and increased blood sugar levels. Fish high in mercury can also contribute to oxidative stress and inflammation, both of which are known to worsen diabetes. It's important to be mindful of the types of fish you consume, especially if you have diabetes. Opting for fish that are lower in mercury, such as salmon, sardines, and trout, can help you reap the benefits of omega-3 fatty acids without the risks associated with mercury exposure. Additionally, wild-caught fish are generally lower in mercury compared to farmed varieties, so it's worth considering where your fish comes from when making dietary choices. Choosing the right protein sources is crucial for managing diabetes effectively. While protein is an essential part of a healthy diet, not all protein-rich foods are beneficial for those with diabetes. Processed meats, red meat, full-fat dairy, and certain types of fish can all contribute to worsening blood sugar control and increasing the risk of complications. By being aware of these potential pitfalls and making informed dietary choices, you can better manage your diabetes and improve your overall health. Remember, it's not just about the quantity of protein you consume, but the quality and type that makes all the difference. When it comes to managing diabetes, it's easy to focus on carbohydrates as the primary culprit, but understanding the impact of different protein sources is just as vital. The key takeaway is to prioritize quality over quantity in your protein choices. Opting for lean, plant-based proteins like legumes, tofu, and quinoa, or low-mercury fish and lean poultry can provide your body with the necessary nutrients without the added risks.